FSD definitely didn't. There it is. We got it. Woo! Force takeover. Ha ha ha! We found FSD's limits. What is up, guys? I think we found my limit. I finally just got a red wheel disengagement. I want to see if it happens again. I didn't have my camera recording because I had no reason to. It's taken a ridiculous level of rain plus nightfall to finally get a freaking red wheel takeover. Just got the first one on version 12.5.4.2 and right now it's reacting because this vehicle's got its turn signal on. I don't know if he realizes it. I'm gonna try to get us past this guy. See if I can get us into darker conditions here and to another forced takeover. Uh, it's not going to change lanes because we're blocked or blinded. So we're in full degradation mode right now. I had just shot a message off to my dad of bro Elias because I was talking about how I can't believe with the rain today I hadn't gotten a forced takeover. And then finally the rain started building up and not even 20 seconds after I sent that message to him, got a red wheel takeover. Which is incredibly exciting to finally see its limits. But now it's not happening again. I wonder, for science, I'm gonna hold the phone up and see if the camera detects me on my phone, and then that causes a red wheel takeover. So I'm not actually looking at my phone, I'm looking forward, but I need to mimic being irresponsible. So I'm just gonna hold this here and kind of move it around. My eyes are forward. Are we limited to 95k? Yeah, that's the lowest speed we've been limited to. We got maximum speed limit. All right, being on the phone doesn't seem to have changed anything. It's also not telling me to pay attention to the road, and I've got active monitoring on. I wonder if active monitoring... All right, I'm gonna tilt my hat down so the camera can't see my eyes. So, it's gonna force active monitoring to turn off. There we go. View of driver obscured by hat. Still no force to take over. I swear it just happened. I just got a red wheel disengagement. But I mimic again. So I'm just kind of mindlessly scrolling up and down while I look forward to be safe. I don't like that we're in the passing lane, but people keep passing me on the right and the system won't uh, get over right now because of the camera blockage. Oh, there we go. All right, it's getting a lane change. Now we're gonna get a lot of blockage from all this misting. FSD definitely didn't, there it is. We got it. Woo, force takeover. Ha ha ha. We found FSD's limits. You might be wondering why I'm so happy. And that's because now we have um, an upper threshold to consider. Because before you had no way of knowing like what the limit was. This is how extreme my car has to be in condition wise to get a force takeover and we're not being allowed to turn it back on. So, and I, I, I think, did I have my phone in my hand for that? I don't think so because we got behind that truck and I, I don't even remember my phone because I was just focused on the road. Uh, extreme testing, don't try at home. This is some real Florida rain and we're not getting the FSD icon to turn back on. That is only the second ever forced red wheel takeover on 12542. They really raised the failure or the uh, system error threshold on this software build, at least for my car. Because it took this, like, these are conditions that a lot of people would not be comfortable driving in. I want to get FSD back on so I can see if active monitoring gets around it, because I intentionally turned active monitoring off by dropping my hat so it couldn't see my face. Of course, in these low light conditions, that might not matter. I'm going to create a bit more distance so there's not as much spray in front of me to hopefully get FSD back. get our threshold back down to 
reasonable parameters here. Hopefully this is visible enough for you guys to see what's going on. This is the kind of testing I like, and this is why I get so excited when I figure out the true limitations. That's just really good data. It's good to have. Frankly, when conditions are this bad anyway, I'd rather drive. Okay, cool. We've got our conditions back enough to turn it back on. I don't think we're gonna get active monitoring back on because the cabin is so low light right now due to this, uh, this level of the weather. Yeah, low cabin illumination, so monitoring unavailable. And we'll see. I'm gonna give us throttle to get us closer to the spray behind that truck. Not too much though, because I don't want the system to think that it can't break, because that might cause a disengagement when I don't want one. All right, maximum speed limit issues. We got active monitoring, it just turned on, so we just kicked in enough light. Might be due to the headlight reflections from the cars behind us. Actually, I might be able to force that illumination just by going into day mode, but I don't really want to blind myself with already having low lighting conditions. That just doesn't seem safe. But we'll see if we get that oversaturation threshold again, which basically means there's so much negative visibility from the rain impact, from lighting glares, from spray, from tires of other vehicles that it just forces the system to say, hey, take over, we're no longer confident. But this is showing you the degree of which it requires to get to that point. All right, so we're coming into better lighting now, which is gonna work in favor of FSD. Unless the refraction from the water causes a lot of glare, there is so much happening when it comes to how this system handles these conditions. But Mew here has been kind of a superhero. I don't know if, again, speculation from earlier videos that I'm on a build of the software that might be testing some upper threshold limits, given I have had no issue with sunlight or high beams or rain up until now. Um, the video that you've likely already seen of that incredible drive to the airport was in pretty heavy rain during the day with even lots of spray with vehicles and not a single disengagement caused. A lot of these bigger trucks have pulled over because of the rain. Should be getting a lot of rain like this this week too, so it'll be a lot of good wet weather testing. I feel like we might have, we've lost too much saturation, so I don't think we're gonna get a red wheel now. Just because the rain has lightened up quite a bit. Unless we hit another stretch of road that's just like pitch black. Or if we can get up fast enough. Yeah, I can't speed up, so. If we were like right behind a truck that was throwing up a bunch of road spray, that would probably do it. Okay, here we go. We'll go a little bit longer to see if we have any luck with a red wheel takeover. The rain's still coming down pretty good. We're getting probably a lot of glare from the oncoming traffic. We're not getting any road spray from the vehicle in front of us, so too far ahead. Yeah, so FSD is handling this very well. Yeah, and the rain is lightening up. So I think that's about all I'm gonna be able to get out of this testing segment. If it gets really bad, I might turn the camera back on. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's the level of testing and, and difficulty I like to put the vehicle through to see what the upper limits are. That's why I was so excited. I'm not happy it failed. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't feel weird about that. Or I hope you don't feel weird about that. I hope you understand my, my scientific approach, my, my nerdy data gathering side of this, wanting to test the upper threshold of limitations of visibility, which is what we just got to experience. Finally, after all of this time, thousands of kilometers, almost 150 customer trips, and we finally saw a Red Bull disengagement. Now I get to tell Elias all about it. And I'm sure he'll be able to comment on this video too. Uh, this will likely be Friday's video if it came out on time with how I'm scheduling this stuff out. So I will catch you guys in the next one.